Hi, I'm Laura with the Canadian Museum of Nature. Today's Nature Scoop has a Martian twist. The new Hollywood blockbuster movie, The Martian, is about an astronaut stranded on the red planet who must use his expertise as a botanist to survive. Sound far-fetched? Maybe not. Let's talk to one of our very own museum botanists who's actually been to Mars and back. So Paul, you spend two weeks at the Mars Desert Research Station in Utah, living in a tiny space habitat, just like Matt Damon's character in the movie. What was that like? It was, it was pretty cool, actually. Uh, the point of the simulation is to live and work as if you're on the surface of Mars. Uh, this is how we practice for going there one day. So on the inside of the hab, we're living in close quarters and working in a lab and eating dehydrated food. And every time we go outside for our EVAs, we'd have to put on our spacesuits and step through the airlock and uh, decompress the Earth atmosphere before we could go outside. And there was a greenhouse for growing food. That's right. Um, actually, they're learning a lot of really valuable lessons about how to grow crops in extreme environments, including using simulated Martian soil, which of course would be very helpful to Matt Damon's character, Mark Watney. Speaking of the movie, are you looking forward to seeing it? Really am looking forward to it. I mean, how often does a space botanist get to save the day? Not that often, I imagine. So your field work takes you to remote places in the Arctic, which must prepare you for working in extreme environments. What are the similarities between Mars and the High Arctic? Well, just like Mars, uh, the Canadian High Arctic is cold, dry, and remote. Uh, fortunately for us, it's also got a breathable atmosphere and all the gravity that we are used to. Um, but uh, one of the ways it really is similar to Mars is uh, when we go up there to do our research, we have to get along and get work done in a small team. Uh, and that's the same psychology that uh, future crews going to Mars will have to uh, use. Uh, and of course that makes it a great dress rehearsal for going to other planets one day. And space agencies know this and use these places as training ground. So would you join a real mission to Mars if you could? Oh, in a heartbeat. Uh, although I think I'd like to come back to Earth one day. Uh, this is still a pretty great planet. So this is just another example of how science is cool. And who knows, what may seem like fun, Hollywood-style science fiction may be close to reality in the not-too-distant future. I really hope so.